everybody, this is Sherry at dgsundry.blogspot.com and I have kind of a quick and easy project um, that I'm doing and it's actually one that you can mass produce which is the reason I'm doing it. I'm actually doing it for my son. Um, I like for him in the month of November just to send a little thank you with his newspapers. He delivers newspapers and I think he has like 62 on his route. And so um, this is the second November he's been delivering papers and I wanted him to have a little thank you note to thank his customers so and I did something similar last year and I just thought this year I would do something a little bit different so I'm using the Autumn Melody Matte Stack we'll talk about that in just a minute um, from coordinations I'm using the Safari Solid Dyed core um, coordinations paper in 12 by 12 and then I used the Cricut close to my heart artiste cartridge and I haven't used the card feature on that cartridge very much but they do have a card feature and so I um, set up in my craft room to cut a whole bunch of cards and they're just teeny tiny cards um, they ended up total size on these were 5.542 wide so that would be this way and then 2.514 um, tall is what they called it and um, when you they're actually I think probably designed to be um, gift card holders but you would have to make them a little bit bigger obviously but they're perfect to make about three by three inch cards and they it cuts out the thanks in the top and then it has a little flap here to put it down so this is one of the colors that I did and to start with because this is such a dark color I need to do something on the inside of the card just so that he has room to write a little note. Now, like I said, he just slips these in the little bag that goes with his newspapers when he delivers them. So he doesn't need to write a lot, you know, basically thank you and sign his name. Um, and so I don't need a lot of room there. But so I took this, this is a piece of scrap from paper tray ink that I had and it's vintage cream and I cut that at two and a quarter inches wide by two and an eighth inches tall. And you can see, sorry, I can't get a hold of it. As I pick it up, then I'll just kind of move that to the front. Now this one, this particular card, um, and I think all the cards on the artiste cartridge have the little tick marks for your score lines and I chose not I mean I used them and then I used my little Martha Stewart scoreboard and I scored all of the cards just like that um, and, and pre scored them so all I have to do is use my bone folder to make it nice and flat so there we have the little thanks so then the next thing that I'm going to do is I this is where the vintage I mean the autumn melody mat set comes in so I cut a lot of little pieces in the um, two and a quarter by two and an eighth inch and I'm going to put them there but of course I want to have some three girl jam crinkle ribbon so for this particular card I'm using Merlot super super simple I'm not doing any stamping on these because you know the card already says thanks by itself and there's not a whole lot of real estate on these little cards um, I could put um, I've got different leaves or flowers that I could put on here but I decided I'm just going to let the ribbon be the embellishment with the pretty crinkled paper some um, on one or two of them I did bows but on this one and on most of them I'm just doing a little knot out of that three girl jam ribbon and then I'll grab my scissors and just trim up the tails at an angle crinkle ribbon very definitely will um, fray and so you, I like to cut it at an angle if it's going to be exposed like this one is so then I'm going to just kind of adjust my knot so it's more on the side bring it down so it's kind of on the lower third of the card just like that and then I'm going to use quite a bit of ATG because I want it to stick down well and actually I could even put one more line just like that 
and just kind of center it on all four sides and there we have our little card and then the little flap comes over the top just like that let's see if I pull another piece of paper you can see better how it says thanks on the top and that's really I think all that it needs just the, let the ribbon be the embellishment have a cute little card um, that he can just open up and write his little message thank you for subscribing or something like that and it's all done so this is the first one that I did and this one is in or this is one of them that I've done and this one's in kind of that wine color but it's still kind of fall color this is one that I did in green again using the same paper and this is the Halloween harvest crinkle ribbon you can get that in the seasons um, pack and then another one with Halloween harvest on craft colored and then a bright yellow one using sunflower um, ribbon with um, more of that paper now the ones that are light enough I didn't line on the inside so I have one two four done and about 60 more to go <laughs> so thanks so much for stopping by today and remember take some time to enjoy the little things have a great day bye